Welcome, class! Today we are learning about fictional geography! So in My Little Pony A New Generation, Sunny shows us the latest map of Equestria. Many fans, including myself, were very much confused about this as it seems to be made clear by this image that Zephyr Heights was once Canterlot, hinting that the Pegasi had perhaps at one point in Equestria's history conquered Canterlot in some sort of battle. What's confusing about this is that if you try to line up Sunny's map with the G4 map of Equestria, it doesn't fit anywhere! Well, the solution to this problem is simple. Throw that map away because it may or may not be canon. I think there's a good chance that this was likely an early concept that somehow became an official teaser image. Now with that thought in mind, let's try and line up Sunny's map with the one from G4. Okay, so, let's take a look along the coastline. And, uh, nope, not here. Three busted, right? Wrong. Let's keep going along the shoreline. Turn the map accordingly and see what we find. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm. Stop! It lines up perfectly! The landmasses are identical. Okay, now that we have the area, let's line up the actual locations with each other, shall we? Here we have Baltimore, right next to Horseshoe Bay. This means that Maritime Bay is actually Horseshoe Bay. We even have the horseshoe shape on Sunny's map. And a little tail of a land here for her lighthouse. We see Bridalwood, with two mountains behind it. And what do we see near Horseshoe Bay in G4? A forest with two mountains behind it, plopped right by where Bridalwood should be. So what about Zephyr Heights? Well, this one isn't perfect, but it is rather close. There are several mountains nearby, but what's closer to the correct location is Philadelphia. So maybe Zephyr Heights is somehow a combination of these mountains and Philadelphia? That or the Pegasi found a way to literally move a mountain and place Canterlot on top of Philadelphia. There's also this windmill and apple off in the distance, which could either be Appaloosa or Dodge Junction. It lines up better with Dodge Junction, but that place is known for cherries, not apples. It's also possible that Sunny's map is just too small to fit it on there properly, and this is indeed meant to be Appaloosa. What I find interesting is that this is a very small part of Equestria. So we gotta wonder, are there still any active civilizations across the rest of Equestria? The dragons and griffins are right across the water from them, so will they be showing up anytime soon? Only time will tell. But I want to know what you guys think. Is there somewhere else you think the map lines up with? Or maybe you have a solution to this whole Canterlot issue. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more theories, be sure to press the subscribe button. Here, you don't even have to go through the trouble of scrolling down to do it. Look, this one right here. Click it. Click it. Clickety clack. However, if you want to like the video, you're going to have to scroll down for that anyway. So get to clicking, y'all.